got a message from Annabelle the other day. She wrote, Hi Paul, thank you for your videos. They are very helpful. Is there any way to add more than a text entry on the same slide with only one submit button? Um, there is, Annabelle. Um, let me take you through the process here, and of course we'll share it with all the viewers as well here. Um, the thing to remember about uh, text entry boxes is that the submit button is really just a formality. It's only if you wish to, you know, execute something or have something happen upon completion of text entry. So in this case here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture uh, a user's personal information using four different text entry boxes. So we're going to start with first name, last name, job title, and we're going to get the year they were born. And we're going to do something with that information. In fact, we're you know the first name, last name, job title uh, will stay pretty much the same, but we're going to do a little calculation on the year born to show you an example of how you could do this without submit buttons. So I'm just going to select all of these uh, text entry boxes here, and we'll just go over to the the actions tab here. On success, we're not going to continue playing the slide. We're going to switch that over to no action and on focus lost also no action. I am going to get rid of the enter uh, shortcut in this case here. So I'm going to delete that and we're also going to uncheck show button. So essentially what each of these text entry boxes are are just a way for you to type in information and they'll get stored into the default variable for each one of these. However, I'm going to change this. I've already created some uh, custom uh, user variables that I'm going to use instead. So we're just going to uh, select that. So first name, I've got a variable called var underscore first name. And for last name, we're going to call that uh, var underscore last name. And for job title, uh, same thing, VAR underscore job title, and the year born, we've got uh, birth year. I've also created another variable called age, and we're going to calculate that out on, uh, on hitting the next button, or if you will, the uh, submit button for this slide. So I'm going to grab these... Uh, text entry boxes and put them in the appropriate fluid boxes so they're uh, easy for our users to fill out here. Let's make sure I do the right ones. And lastly, year born here. So what we have, and, and I've just, uh, you know, as a side note, I'm designing this particular uh, project to be, uh, of course, um, mobile layout. So, you know, I'm concerned about the uh, desktop view as well. So I'll probably go back and forth between the two. In this case here, I think uh, what I'll do is I'll uncheck maintain aspect ratio. So these go the full width here. And perhaps what we'll do is we'll select our fluid boxes and maybe add a little bit of padding around all of them here so that there I can select more than one fluid box at a time and let's make it 20 just to give it lots of space there and we'll put a little bit of padding on the outside of the fluid box the bottom and the top of the fluid box there so that looks pretty good and that will look good across a, a wide variety of devices here. So we've give, the, the person has given us the year born uh, by typing it in here. And we're going to create a little advanced action um, called submit here. I've already written it out just for, for ease of use here. Very simple. I'm using the expression command. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the user's age. Uh, sometime this year. So I've created a variable called var underscore age using the expression command equals cp info current year, which is a system variable that simply keeps the current year such as 2019. And I'm subtracting the 
birth year that the user typed in. So variable underscore birth underscore year. And then I'm simply going to go to the next slide at that point here. Very simple. And what I can do now, of course, with this, um, I'll, I'll rewrite this so you can see how this would work. So we're going to say hello. And using the uh, insert variable icon in your properties inspector, we're just going to click that and we'll find uh, first name. Uh, you can set the maximum length of uh, text displayed. Certainly 50 would be probably adequate for most first names. Um, and I'm just going to put a space. And now I'll select their last name. I see you are a, and then we'll put in job title. And it looks like you will be, and then we'll, we'll input the variable age, which was calculated at the end of our previous slide there. So click OK. So it looks like you will be whatever age this year. OK, so let's test this out here. We'll do a quick preview uh, of this project. We'll see how it works. So I'm going to type in my first name. Tab works nicely on this if you put them in the right order. Job title, e-learning designer. And I was born in 1969. So I'll click the submit button, or in this case, my next button. Hello, Paul Wilson. I see you are an e-learning designer, and it looks like you will be 50 this year. There you go. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com. Follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.